Welcome to All Grown Up Now, Tales of a Checkered Past. I'm Kenneth D. King, podcasting from my studio near Union Square in New York City. This podcast is an evolution of the tale, All Grown Up Now, A Friendship in Three Acts. This is season two, and it's called Tales of a Checkered Past. It's a collection of short stories from my salad days on up to the present. In each podcast, another self-contained story will be presented. These podcasts will be broadcast bi-weekly, so you get two a month. Enjoy. This episode of Tales of a Checkered Past I call Fortuny. Fortuny, a word that, to those in the know, conjures up visions of Venice, opulence, Byzantine splendor. Mariano Fortuny was a Renaissance man, an artist, inventor, designer, and engineer who was alive in the early part of the 20th century and died in 1949. Some know of him as the inventor of the Fortuny lamp, others know of him as the designer of the pleated silk Delphos gowns. It was these gowns, seen in the Costume Institute at the Met while I was in college, that were my first exposure to Mariano Fortuny. This was long before I knew of the printed fabrics. I've had a love affair with Fortuny ever since, but it was during a day teaching at FIT that my first Fortuny fabric came into my possession. It was in a colleague's cubicle There, leaning against the wall, stood a bolt of fabric that caught my eye. While my colleague and I were talking, I slowly realized that it might be a bolt of Fortuny printed cotton. Not believing that it actually could be such a thing as how did it ever get here, I went over and unrolled it. There was the stamp on the selvage, Fortuny. The tag said 80 yards. Yes, 80. 8080. Juliet, where did you get this? I asked. Oh, they were throwing it away at the fabric lab next door, and I thought it was pretty. Pretty, I exclaimed. Do you know what this is? This is Fortuny cotton. Uh, okay, she replied. Juliet, I like you, so I'm going to tell you what this is. This is Fortuny. This is a big damn deal. This is over $300 a yard. Juliet smiled, looked at me and said, Oh, I'm never going to make this up. You, You just take it. Which I did, and fast. Eighty yards. Boy, I could cover a lot of area with that. So... The first item I made was a pair of jeans. Yes, jeans. And I made them just like ready-to-wear jeans, with all the serging, all the top stitching, everything. I like the idea of using such a precious piece of fabric in such an offhand way. Then I made a sport coat. And then I made a trench coat. Because I could. One of my students asked me, Oh my God, Professor, what would happen if you tore a hole in these? Oh, I'll just make another, I casually replied. I have over 50 yards more. Sometime later, I was on the Martha Stewart show. I would be teaching her how to make a particular silk flower. Understanding that we wouldn't be hanging around in the green room together before the show because she was, after all, Martha Stewart and I wasn't. I needed something to talk about to establish a rapport with her quickly. Researching her revealed that she liked Fortuny fabrics. So I wore my Fortuny jacket. We were introduced moments before we went on. I shook her hand, touched my lapel, and said, Fortuny, but you knew that already. Martha launched into a charming reverie on how much she adored Fortuny. She had it in her home in Connecticut and also in her place here in New York. And then it happened. 
she looked me directly in the eye and said, Did you know that cat pee dissolves the gold paint off that fabric? Yes, cat pee, for those who didn't get it the first time. Now, as an aside, my mother had a lawyer named Harry. Harry was the voice of reason for me when I was a teenager. One time, before I was to testify in a court case, long story, he gave me two bits of advice. First, he said, if someone asks a question, answer the question and then stop. For example, if the answer is yes, it's yes, stop. The other bit of advice was... If someone says something that requires a response and you just don't know what to say, you say, indeed. So, when Martha said, Did you know that cat pee dissolves the gold paint off that fabric? I looked her in the eye and I said, indeed. Then the stage manager said, you're on, and off we went. It all went well, and everyone was well pleased with my segment. The next day, one of my students said, Oh my God, Professor, you totally bossed Martha Stewart around. I did, I asked. I couldn't remember much about the entire episode, except thinking all through the episode, there's only one way Martha could have known that. Fortuny also found me my husband. It was in the fall of 2011, and Ernie Smith of the Embroidery House Penn & Fletcher in Long Island City was hosting a visiting dignitary from London for a luncheon and an award ceremony. He invited me along with some other professors from FIT to attend. My first thought was, food and pretty embroidery sounds like a good time. So, as always, the question was, what do I wear? Uh-huh. I figured that this crowd would definitely get the Fortuny jeans. So I chose the outfit around them. Good herringbone jacket, cashmere turtleneck to go with the good boots, good sunglasses, good gloves, scarf. Looking good and feeling gorgeous. I got to the building, went up in the elevator, stopped at the floor, The doors opened. I stepped out, removing my Ferragamo sunglasses. And this rather good-looking man walked up to me and asked, Is that real Fortuny? Uh Uh-huh. Why, as a matter of fact, it is, I replied. And who are you? And that was Andrew's opening line. And it was definitely a first. In my checkered past, never ever had I had anyone make an approach with that particular line. The rest of the story, I wore Fortuny on my wedding day for luck. I had pants and custom-made shoes. Thanks for listening. You can get the audiobook All Grown Up Now on iTunes, Audible, and Amazon, or from my website, allgrownupnow.com. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. If you have any questions, you can reach me through the website, allgrownupnow.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Kenneth D. King, on Facebook at Kenneth D. King Design, or on my main website, kennethdking.com.